हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रीड लेसन टू अलोंग द येलो ब्रिक रोड दिस पीस इज टेकन फ्रॉम द बुक द वंडरफुल विजार्ड ऑफ ओज बाय एल फ्रैंक बॉम इट इज द स्टोरी अबाउट अ यंग गर्ल कॉल डोरोथी हु इज कैरीड अवे बाय अ स्टॉम टू द मैजिकल लैंड ऑफ ओज there she has many adventures on her journey down the yellow brick road along the way she meets some strange new friends among them are a talking scarecrow and a tin man one sunny morning dorothy and scarecrow came by a beautiful clear water spring dorothy bathed drank and ate a light breakfast there while scarecrow looked on thoughtfully watching her he said it must be troublesome to be made of flesh you must always worry about where to sleep eat and drink however you also have brains and it must be wonderful to be able to think properly dorothy smiled and was about to reply when suddenly she heard a deep groan from somewhere nearby what was that she asked surprised I don't know but we can go and see said scarecrow soon they heard another groan the sound seemed to come from behind they walked towards the forest and suddenly discovered something shining in the sunlight between the trees They came closer to the spot and found it was a man made entirely of tin with an axe in his hand his head arms and legs were fitted to the body but he stood as if he could not stir at all dorothy and scarecrow looked at him amazed So it was you who was groaning exclaimed Dorothy Yes cried tin man I have been groaning for more than a year now but no one has heard me or come to my help What can I do for you Dorothy asked softly for she was moved by his sad voice you could get an oil can and oil my joints answered tin man they are rusted so badly i can't move them at all if i am well oiled i shall be all right again He pointed to a hut at the edge of the forest and added You will find an oil can on my cottage shelf Dorothy rushed off immediately and returned shortly with the can She then asked where should I start Oil my neck first said tin man As Dorothy began oiling it, Scarecrow held his tin head and moved it gently from side to side till it worked freely. Tin Man now gave a sigh of relief. "This is great comfort," he said. "After this, if you oil the joints of my legs, I shall be able to walk again." So Dorothy and Scarecrow oiled his legs till they moved easily. Tin Man felt grateful and politely thanked them for their help. I might have stood here forever if you had not come along. He said, "So you certainly have saved my life." 
How did you happen to be there? Dorothy replied, We are on our way to the Emerald City to see the Great O's. The yellow brick road led us to this place. Why do you wish to see O's? asked Tin Man. I want him to send me back to Kansas and Scarecrow wants O's to gift him some brains, she said. Tin Man thought for a few moments and said, Do you suppose O's could give me a heart? I guess so, answered Dorothy. It would be e as easy as to give the scarecrow brains. True, said Tin Man. If you will allow me to join your party, I will go to the Emerald City and ask Oz for my wish. Come along, said Dorothy and Scarecrow, scarecrow cheerfully. And with that, the three started marching towards the Emerald City. This was the reading of our lesson 2 along the yellow brick road. If you have any doubt or query, you can ask me in the comment section below. Also, you can find the links to other lessons in the description box below. Thank you everyone.